Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. We've got No Filter Ball by Paulina Poroskova. She was born in um, Czechoslovakia before, you know, it was the Czech Republic. And um, behind the Iron Curtain, she was the first model to be, the first Eastern European model to be in Sports Illustrated. She was the face of Estee Lauder for years and years, just the very top model. And then she met the front man for um, the cars, Rick, what's his name, Okas Okasek. And she married him. And in this book, she talks about the challenges and being married to a man twice her age. And then finding out later that there was a major betrayal in that marriage. And um, just essays on what she's learned throughout the years. So, I like that nonfiction. We've got another nonfiction, Dressmakers of Oswich. And this sounds really good. Apparently it's it's by whoops, Lucy Adlington, and she is a, his, an historian. It's about 25 women who joined in Auschwitz and they were dressmakers and they were called the Upper Tailoring Studio. They would design and cut and sew high fashion garments for the Nazi elite, for women either of the Nazi guards at Auschwitz or women in Berlin who um, were some of the top Nazi wives. And it follows their stories throughout Auschwitz and afterwards. So pretty much hidden stories. They haven't really, I guess, been published before. So that sounds pretty interesting. And it's nonfiction. We've got The House Girl by Tara Conklin, and this is a book about two women, one of whom is a current day woman who is a, a lawyer, and she's trying to bring a major class action suit for reparations for the descendants of former slaves. And then it flips back and forth to another character, Josephine, who is a house slave for a woman who is the lady of the house for a tobacco, um, plantation antebellum before you know the Civil War and she was also an aspiring artist so it goes back and forth from the two characters it sounds pretty good and then we've got Justin Cronin with the Ferryman which sounds like a little bit science fictiony um, it's a group of survivors living on an island utopia hidden away from the crumbling world outside and they have monitors implanted in their body that kind of monitors their health. And when it drops between below a certain level, then they're shipped off on a ferry to another island where they are, their memories are wiped clean and they are somehow replenished and they start life anew. Well, this is the main character is the ferryman who is the one who drives the ferry back and forth for the people who are retired and going to have their memory wiped so that they can start over. And he notices that things are crumbling on the island, that something's going wrong. He's ordered to retire his own father. He notices that his health on the monitor is dropping alarmingly fast and he doesn't know why. And um, so it looks like the whole utopian society is crumbling. So the ferryman, pretty good. We'll have more next week. Thank you.